So what am I doing in Guatemala? I'm here to work with a school called the American School of Guatemala, working with the kids, working on teaching visual literacy. And what I'm doing here is working with the camera, working with photography and video. The children are learning to take pictures. I'm showing them how to use the camera. But what they don't necessarily realize they're learning is how to see the world in a different way. And this is a big part of what I'm here to teach. But what I really want people to achieve from this, what I really want the kids to gain, is learning how to quite literally see the world from a different point of view. And a big part of this comes from using the camera. And that's really the key here, is teaching children how to learn using the camera. They may not even realize that that's what they're doing, but we encourage using the camera as a learning tool throughout the classrooms and throughout all programs, not just a standard photography program, but actually through programs like science and math and even history, where using the camera can be an incredible learning tool. For example, the fourth grade class here at the American School of Guatemala are working on a program where they're designing and ultimately building small model homes that are supposed to be earthquake proof. As I probed the children and, and got them to think through the process, a couple of them, usually at the same time, would always go, the camera, we can take video, and then somebody else would say, slow motion video. And while to many of this may seem rather obvious, through the eyes of a fourth grader, this is not the first thing that comes to mind. But once we start encouraging the use of the camera in this way, suddenly it becomes more obvious. Seeing that light up in their eyes, seeing that recognition is just incredible. The fifth year students are creating posters based off of a single topic. If you're putting pictures on the poster, where are you gonna get them? Oh, I'll get it from Google, I'll download it and print it out. Okay, but what if you could make your own picture? And it all comes down to using that camera as a learning tool, seeing their topic differently, seeing their topic through a new light, through a new lens, quite literally, and giving them the ability to really, really comprehend their topic much more. For many of the kids, this is nothing more than just learning how to make better pictures. And of course, we did a lot of that too. We'd go out in the yard here on the school campus, taking pictures with iPads and iPhones. And throughout that process, I would guide them. It's amazing what just the littlest bit of direction can do. And who knows what this is gonna spark in some of these kids. I know some of them are coming up to me telling me how excited they were to be taking pictures. They love photography. Now they're getting to take some better ones or they're showing the pictures to their parents and their parents are excited at how good their pictures are already. It's really exciting to see just how quickly it changes, how much growth potential there is here. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey. Whenever I work with a school like this, we always have some kind of a keynote opening presentation where I can address the students and the faculty and sometimes even the parents all at once. And allow them to see who I am and learn a little bit more about me. And then I meet with the teachers for a PD program, a professional development, and I tell them a bit more of the background of what it is that I'm doing and, and my philosophies here and how I'm working and the way that I'm doing things and why I'm doing things the way that I am. And this allows them to support what I'm doing in the classroom and understand a little bit more of what it is we're trying to achieve. And then, of course, to continue this education once I'm gone. I'm usually only here for a short time, in this case here for a week. And of course, learning doesn't stop after that week. And, and the teachers are able to take these ideas and encourage their growth and try and incorporate them into their own classroom. The camera is a fantastic learning tool. It's no different than anything else that we have. We have pencils and papers and, and notebooks and rulers and all these other tools that we use in the classroom. But the camera is a very powerful tool that can be used in so many different ways. It's just amazing to see how enthusiastic some of the kids can be when it comes to things like making pictures or video or YouTube. It's just wonderful and phenomenal and I want to keep encouraging that growth and I hope it's an opportunity that I continue to have. If you happen to work at a school that has an artist in residence program, I'd love to hear from you. It's always great to have new opportunities to do this and I would love to consider working with you someday.